I think I need more storage space. What's up guys, Trisha Hirschberger here, and in this episode of DIY in 5, we're going to show you four ways to add flash storage to your MacBook. No, none of them include treating your laptop like a trapper keeper. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our other upcoming tips and tricks. Here we go! We'll start with the cleanest and easiest solution. Once upon a time, when MacBooks came with features like card slots, you could simply slide the SD card from your camera and plug it into your system. If you're one of those people, then getting a micro SD adapter just might be perfect for you. You can pick up one of these for about $25 and just slide a micro SD card into your MacBook so it looks like it was put there by Apple itself. We'll add a link below to the adapter we use. Maybe it's even on sale by now. Our next option, while super clean, does require a couple of tools. If you have an older MacBook with a spinning hard drive, swapping it out for an SSD just might be for you. SSDs are much more affordable than they were a few years ago. As a bonus, they're also available in much larger capacities. You can check out this video if you want to see how to install one of those guys. Should you go this route, you'll definitely notice a huge speed improvement and can probably hold off on buying a new MacBook for a little bit longer. These last two options we cover are good for those who have an older MacBook now and are upgrading to the latest one next. For a temporary storage upgrade, you can get a USB flash drive. Yes, I know, these little things end up in a drawer or at the bottom of your notebook bag for you to find months later. But what if I told you they now come with multiple connectors? Now it's a bit more interesting, huh? Par exemple, this one is USB-A on one side, your current USB, and USB-C on the other, so it'll still work with new MacBooks that aren't as friendly to your existing accessories. Another cool thing people are doing lately is using SSDs as portable storage. If you work only from a notebook, external hard drives are probably something you know well. Here we've put one of our SSDs in an external enclosure and are using it with the 2011 MacBook Pro. When it comes time to make the switch, simply add a USB-C adapter that you can pick up for less than $10 and you won't have to buy a whole new portable drive. Clever girl. So what's your biggest fear about upgrading to a new system? Let us know in the comments below. Maybe we can help calm those fears. And if you want to see how to speed up that older MacBook of yours, check out this video. Thanks so much for watching DIY in 5. I'm Trisha Hirschberger and I'll see you next time.